Welcome to this lecture on the second part of working with chapters, sections, and pages. Now in the previous lecture we brought in some Word documents and added them to our project as chapters and sections. And uh, while I was doing that I made a couple of mistakes deliberately and I wanted to go back and just explain how you can change the layouts that are associated with a particular page or a section. Now you might recall that when we brought in the demographics chapter, I used a different layout option uh, during the import process. And that particular layout actually is for uh, preface uh, rather than the actual... Um... So if I want to change that layout, I can click on the down arrow right next to the thumbnail for that chapter. And you can see that it brings up a pop-up list that shows me all of the layout options that are available to me in this template for uh, a chapter. And in my case, I have the preface selected here. You can see the check mark. I'm going to instead select the chapter option. I'll just go back to that. And when I do that, you'll notice that the numbering is back to normal. So now it's going to count as part of the, uh, the book. Now we can do the same thing with individual pages or sections. So again, just select the, and you can see that we have a number of layout options here and I've got section text, that's the one I want to use. Uh, but if I wanted to change that, I could select a second option and have that change made right away. Now you can see that when I made that change, it actually removed the title and it had some other effects. So it's not something that you can do all the time or it may require some additional work, but there is some flexibility. So in my case, I'm just going to undo what I've done here. I can undo by going to my edit menu and selecting the undo option. And I can get back to where I was. Now the last thing I wanted to point out in this lecture is how you would go about deleting chapters or sections or pages. The way that you would do that is simply selecting the chapter or the section that you want to delete in the book pane and then hitting the delete key and you'll notice that iBooks author will prompt you uh, to you know are you sure you want to delete these pages. In our case we're, we're going to say yes we want to delete them and it goes ahead and deletes all of the content including any interactive elements that you might have in that section, any images. So it is something that you want to do as a last resort. What I like to do is if you have content that you don't think you're going to need, I just simply put it at the end of my book uh, while I'm working on it and then in the end if I actually don't end up using any of that content I can safely remove that uh, chapter or section. So in my case, I would just want to go ahead and undo that. So I'll go back to the edit menu and select undo remove. And you can see that I have a keyboard shortcut for command Z that'll undo as well. Okay, so that concludes our lecture on working with chapters, sections, and pages.